I like to thank my grandmother from who I inherited these diamonds. Finally made it to over 16 million in savings. Thought we'd never make it, but here we are. Week 113. So Miss Annabella here, our 16th gen, is trying to make it 17. Her traits are clumsy, unflirty, evil, genius, and grumpy. Absolute killer traits, if I do say so. Level six of her job, she's a con artist, and she wants to become a vampire. Believe it or not, the other day she was coming home from her job and she spotted an absolute snack of a vampire. So Annabella's got a date tonight, y'all. Tonight she's going to go stalk him, basically, find out where he lives and stuff, and force him to speak to her because that is her personality. Very flawed, but I will say she's very driven and um, definitely cluster B. Um, but I think she's more of a sociopath. If I can be so bold as to make that diagnosis here, it's not real life, so I think I'm allowed to do that. By the way, our other 16th gen is this fella right here. Massimo here is in the military, level five flight officer. He wants to be an astronaut, a Nepo baby who dreams of going to space. I mean, groundbreaking, right? <laughs> Damn, look at that dive. I know in the last video I was making hella fun of him because his parents, they, they're, they're divorced. divorced. Um, I was saying that when he was a kid, he had to split his time between the main house, this house, and his mom's beach house. And his main house, beach house, and... You do? Oh. That really is rich people problems, but he's gonna work out here in his suit. Yeah, there she is, cruising through the streets. She did inherit this Ferrari from her father. I mentioned earlier her father was most likely a psychopath. Annabella's mother is Viola, the one who was playing the piano earlier. The household is mostly these siblings. They're all half siblings, technically. We have located the victim. Coincidentally, he lives right here. And I know that because I placed him here. As you will see here shortly, he is a fuckboy. This is actually a red flag. What kind of vampire is not rich? How can you live forever and not be rich? Um, so this yassified vampire right here is um, Romeo. Romeo Lombardi. And he is the one. Please, let's just try to be normal. How is it 4.20 a.m.? The hell? The queen herself. She's got to be the most youthful looking elder I've ever had in this game. This is Antonia. She's our honorary Buclair, I guess we'll say. She does have the Buclair last name, uh, but she is divorced from the family. So she was married to Leonardo. Together they had Massimo, who is the guy who wants to be an astronaut. And in her divorce settlement, she received this house. This is the family's beach house. We probably had this house for about three generations, I guess. But yeah, I love this place. We got our pink cars out here. Miss Antonia is a vocal legend. She finally made it to singer level 10. Isn't she engaged? She is, right? Yeah, she's engaged to this man. Coincidence or not, he is the proprietor at the biggest event venue. I don't expect she will ever get married because, uh, what can I say? She's comfortable. Ooh, she comfortable. We got this here handsome stud. This is Leonardo. He did end up reaching the top of his career and today is a special day for him because I'm just gonna have him retire. Yeah, look at him. Congrats, man. And then we have Ludovico down here who got married in the last episode. Yes, he got married to Mr. Elijah who is now known as Sergio or Sergio. He looks completely different. I'm not implying anything, but I have noticed that Sergio, he spends a lot of time talking to his nephew. I don't know what that's about. They're sort of close. There's no romance there, thank God. So as long as Sergio keeps his hands to himself, I think uh, they'll be fine. The thing is, he should be the one who's thirsty, but it's really her. She's like, this job though is a cock block if I've ever seen one. Oh! Oh! 
Poor Eva, no one gets her sense of humor. She just loves scaring folks. It's her way of saying, I love you. Here's the thing, even though Eva's traits are not that amazing, there's just something I love so much about her. I just think she's so funny. And one thing that was so interesting about her, I don't know if I ever talked about this, when she was a child all the way until recently, I think, she ran everywhere. She was just always in a hurry. She didn't walk, folks. She ran, but never into anyone's arms, sadly. I can't. Poor Eva never found love. I think, you know, as a hot-headed, eccentric, evil bookworm, I think it just wasn't in the cards for her. That's okay. She is at the very end of her life. She's 92 days old. Could go anytime, but uh, we will miss her dearly. I will say that. <laughs> Frango by, Naka spread, Gungo floor, Jimmy Flam, Gungo no. Oh shit. <laughs> Not him sleeping out here in Bella's vampiric chamber. I'll have to look at the family tree. It is linked down below in the description. But I think Bella was maybe Gen 8. So it's been a very long time since we've had a vampire. But if Annabella gets her shit together, maybe she will be our next vampire. It doesn't look like she is because she's currently in jail. Uh, probably in there making someone her bitch. What can I say? Oh my god. I don't know what it is, but something about Ludovico and Eva, they just do not get along. <laughs> I can't help but think that uh, there's a reason why he always talks to him after he gets out of the pool, you know? I mean, he is like your step-nephew, but <laughs> we've got to go visit mom, so... Massimo is heading over there. Luckily, it's a short drive, you know, just across the bridge. Where is your mother? Up here flirting with the butler, no doubt. Damn, her butler changed. Poor guy is probably sexually harassed out of his job. Let's make your son some nice lasagna. Comment down below, do you think it's one of them frozen lasagnas? I got a feeling it is, but if you cook it in the wood fire oven, it makes it homemade. Is that how it works? <laughs> does he like his mom? He does. By the way though, he looks exactly like his mom, like in the face, the skin tone. He's like, yeah, I'm still trying to be an astronaut. She's like, good luck with that. <laughs> Roja. Peligrosa. Throwing a party and we have two objectives. A, to get bit real deep. And B, to get plowed real deep. <laughs> Listen, Annabella's trying to have a baby, y'all. But uh, Miss Annabella has been publicly disgraced. She was arrested. Why are Why are she arrested? arrested? Oh, Romeo, Romeo. Wherefore art thou, Romeo? Deny thy father. Yes, going in for the amorous hug. Oh my god. What the hell, Marie? Romeo, my man, you know we love you. We love you more than you love sunny summer days. Very clearly, Annabella's only interested in this guy um, because she wants things from him. So we're gonna ask him if he will turn us. We're friends now, so maybe he will? Uh, oh, damn. He licked his lips too, freak. Them things ain't the only thing she wants deep in her. Gonna go straight to the trusty shower. By the way, my favorite photo in the house is this one. I have no clue why I took this photo, but I know it's from Champla Sim. Was it a house that we owned? I'm not sure. But my Sims always woohoo in the shower. There must be tons of germs and bacteria crawling around in here. Oh shit. Not Marie. In these 16 generations, the butlers have come and gone, but we never had a butler who was so dedicated to fixing the dishwasher as you, Marie. <laughs> and I guess her replacement's already here, okay. What's all over your face, ma'am? Antonia's like, I have to get out of here. It's too toxic. Uh, so she's escaping to her beach house. The bite itches ever so slightly. It's easy enough to resist the urge to scratch, though. I think you'd just feel better if you threw up. 
And they say divas can't cook. I think her engagement to that proprietor has really done her some favors. Because she was randomly asked to show up at 4pm today at the stadium. She's keeping herself busy. I think the last time she performed she made 27,000 simoleons. I was like, holy shit Antonia, not you saving us from financial doom. Memble me merv. Bawenda Kadevna. Her arms were cut off. Her legs were cut off. Her ears were cut off. Her tongue was cut off. Her nose was cut off. Her eyeballs were blocked out. Another day, another stop on the Eras tour. Peaches has arrived for her gig. As per usual, she is late. They ate that shit up. Hey, 18,000. It's as if my blood is on fire. What have I gotten myself into? Well, Annabella, you are both pregnant and you're transitioning. What can I say? I don't know if it's the best idea, but much better. I know it ain't come out yet, but go ahead and get this baby a therapist. Whoa! <gasps> mm. Drive safe there, Eva. With old people, they either drive hella slow or they're reckless AF. And I feel like Eva is definitely the type to be reckless, ignoring the lights, ignoring the signs, ignoring the people she hits in her roles. Here's my question. What on earth about sitting in the nursery in the rocking chair makes you feel so maniacal? She literally looks possessed. Oh, she perked up there just when I mentioned it. Oh, never mind. Oh, look who just pulled up. It's Romeo. She's pregnant, so it takes her a bit to get down here. But there she is. Oh, he's burning. Oh. Oh my god, Renesmee's coming. Get to the hospital. Immediately. <laughs> it's a baby boy and his name is Rocco. The coolest name. A virtuoso couch potato. Okay, I love that combination. Uh, well, it was the best of times, folks. Stay tuned to see if Annabella will be the world's worst mother and if she will eventually become a creature of the night. Mm. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Mm.